We're here to make something that's bigger for like all of us, hopefully. So because of that, I encourage you all to just give it everything you have. It's gonna get hard, it's gonna suck, but you know, as long as we remember our purpose and why we're here and what we're trying to create, I think that's all that really matters. I was sitting in the African American Studies class when one of my classmates said, um, I wonder if Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, and Mike Brown would still be alive if they could have taken off their skin. And that kind of propelled me to create like a character that I could control his or her, you know, racial perception. Racial injustice exists. It's not something that is confined to the 1930s or 40s or 50s or 60s, but is ongoing. And I feel like this film is being created today because it's a reminder of the way things were and how we can go further. I know you can help, Henry. <coughs> Please. <laughs> to prepare for the role, uh, the biggest thing for myself, the, the old adage that says, iron sharpens iron. And so there are a lot of people that have been through these things in the past that I had a chance to be able to kind of uh, brush up against and ask them about how to react to some of these uh, scenarios because there actually were a few things that I've never been a part of either. But uh, I had to get myself in the mind frame and not easy to, to, to dig into. <laughs> Through the alley scene, I think I felt kind of the most thrown off, more so because Jesse actually kicks Eric. So when like that actual kick happened and I like watched him like repeatedly kick like kick this guy like twice, it was like, oh shit, this got real. So um yeah, that was kind of jolting for a minute and like I cringe, so hopefully when people see it they'll also cringe. Um and the, the, the lynching scene when he comes down with the knife. <laughs> It is currently 1.18 in the morning. Uh, we've been here since about 5 p.m. And right now we are setting up for about our third shot. So yeah. Are we behind? Oh, we are very behind. We've been behind because of rain, uh, because of cars that keep passing through, which a car usually comes by like every five minutes, which happens usually when we're trying to do a take. Um, and it, it really feels like it's the same two cars. What time do you think we'll wrap tonight? Probably 4.30, maybe 5. Costuming really along with everything, it's about creating a world. Anything that's going to take you out of the experience of the film is just a major no-no. So costumes are very important. When you look at a character, and it's a very character-driven film, you're looking at their costumes, and so those need to be authentic and really speak to the time that we're trying to place our story in. Mm. <laughs> Misters and lady misses. So far from my services, all I've gotten was pig's feet. He was so hesitant to do it actually like before, like when I cast him and we did like a Skype call, he was like so like the performance scene is still in there and I was like yeah it's still in there. He was like I have to put on and I was like yeah. Never would have guessed that I had to do this. It's, it's less about what I'm doing today and more about what all of it means the entire <laughs> right. I find it interesting that this was such a what we keep calling a controversial or intense story, but no single person on the entire set was ever, I think, uncomfortable about the idea or questioning if they really wanted to make this strong stance on this issue. Everyone was pretty much like, yes, this needs to be told. Not telling stories like this and to ignore what people have gone through, I think is disrespectful.
I think it's dope being a millennial. Um, it's, you know, we like care about the other people. Like we aren't ignoring things in society that everybody else has ignored that got us to this point. I hope people just can maybe like think for a minute and hope blackface causes, provokes thought and like conversation um, about why I chose to, I mean, I'm a black girl and I made a film with all white men, you know, why I chose to do that or why um, I chose to set it back in the 30s and make Henry Roberts a blackface menstrual performer. Um, and I hope it questions like where we are now in society. And you know, I just hope it causes people to question things. Mm -hmm.